The global inspiration on planetary people is again uncovered, as the influence of ancient cataclysmic currents in space is found, and they work a little bit like when water goes down the drain, funnel shaped and hollow at the top, eventually spawning the squatter man in the funnel, the plasmatic column, wait to hear this. Birkeland currents are caused by the movement of a plasma perpendicular to a magnetic field. The Birkeland currents often show filamentary or twisted rope-like magnetic structures and it seems that from the petroglyphs to giant earthworks like Stonehenge, these currents have been recreated in what ancient earthlings may have been trying to recreate. It's as if they were trying to cast a spell to influence the cataclysmic storms of the Squatterman. Archaeologists have just recently uncovered one of these rare stone circles at a prehistoric ritual site in Cornwall. A team of volunteers cleared bracken and scrub around Casterly Henge, near Bodmin, so archaeologists could map the stone circle using modern surveying techniques. The seven regularly spaced pits were found to be arranged in a crooked horseshoe formation. The word henge refers to a circular or oval shaped bank with a ditch around the inner edge constructed during the Neolithic period, and archaeologists believe the henge sites were used for gatherings and rituals in prehistoric times, but some of the evidence does suggest that it was used as a theatre in the Middle Ages and somewhere to keep guns during the English Civil War. Over the winter, volunteers led by the Cornwall Archaeology Unit, the CAU, cleared the site of vegetation that was threatening features of the site hidden below the ground. The project has also re-fenced the field and the farmer is happy to start grazing again, improving the long-term management of this amazing archaeological site. Anne Preston Jones, a project officer for at-risk heritage sites with Historical England said, the research at Castelli Henge has given us a deeper understanding of the complexity of the site and its importance to Cornish history over thousands of years. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.